Hello, Iris Sirianni from irissirianni.com, helping women have better relationships and better love. So today I want to talk to you about what you can do when things just aren't going your way. So we've all had the experience where all of a sudden things are going along pretty good in our lives and then all of a sudden we hit this place and it doesn't matter what we do, things are just not lining up and we get so frustrated and so upset and the more upset we get, um, you know, the worse we feel about ourselves and our lives and our self-talk goes out the window and pretty soon all we're doing is feeling sorry for ourselves and complaining about the situation and how, you know, nothing that you do uh, seems to make the situation any better. And, you know, for as much as we sit there and we, we talk about all of the things that are wrong in our lives and wrong with the situation, it's funny because what's wrong is always available to us, but so is what's right. So recently, um, I had just one of these experiences where, you know, it just, for as good as life is, and it is really good, um, you know, I hit this wall and I just could get, not get off of my pity party pot. And I was stuck there and I thought, what the heck is going on here, you know? And it didn't matter what I did. I just was there and I was feeling sorry for myself and nothing was good. Everything was wrong. And so I had to change that around uh, very quickly. So here are a couple things that I did. Number one is because what's wrong is so available to us, it also means that what's right is available to us. So that's what I did. Instead of focusing on all of the things or the thing that was causing me so much distress, um, I had to look at what was right. So for, you know, it, it's like negative and positive, um, good and evil, right or wrong. So everything has that opposite. So when, when we're stuck in that place of, you know, noticing everything that's wrong and complaining about that everything that's wrong, um, stop and look at what's good. Um, and you'll, you'll always find something that's good in, in any situation because life doesn't happen um, to us. It happens for us, right? So now the other thing that I did was, um, Oh, the practice of gratitude and being grateful. And um, in relationships, I'll just share this with you. In relationships, it's always the little things um, that matter the most. It's not the big things. It's the little things that matter the most. So, and gratitude and being grateful um, is about noticing the little things. And, you know, sometimes when we're stuck in this um crappy mindset, um, it's hard to to look at what, what we can be grateful for. And somebody once told me, actually somebody recently told me that we're like three minutes away from not being here. Like if we cut off our, our breath, our oxygen, we wouldn't be here. That is like three minutes. So you know what, if you've got nothing to be grateful for, be grateful that that you're breathing and you're here in this moment. And I know that that is like a really, really um, extreme example, but there is so much to be grateful for when when things just go aren't working out in our lives and, and we're dealing with, with something that's causing us a lot of stress. And so, you know, gratitude, like, you know, the fact that you got a nice, cozy, warm bed to sleep in or, you know, there's new flowers. It's almost springtime. So, you know, looking at the flowers or, you know, being able to pet your dog or anything, whatever, whatever that is for you. So it's about noticing the little things and, um, and changing your mindset. And the thing I wanted to also say about this is that the more you focus on what's wrong, 
um, the more of that you're going to attract. So the, um, if we can just harness what's good and tap into uh, great, uh, being grateful, um, we'll find that um, we'll snap out of it a lot quicker. So if you find that thing, you know, something is just weighing you down in your life, things are just not going away in your life, you know, snap yourself out of it by looking at what's good in your life and uh, focus on um, being uh, grateful for the little things in life. So until next time, we'll see you.